Hollinstown Crier John Karsten, who's retiring after 40 years, is a legend in the city. But Holland is not the only town with a person who shouts over radios, phones, and TVs to deliver the news. 13 on your side's Noah Frompson has more on a loud competition at Tulip Time today. The Holland Civic Center was packed with people ready to watch the town criers. They were loud, proud, and ready to give Holland's longtime crier the proper send off. Holland, Michigan's fantastic. Tulip Time Festival! The bells sound the same, but the cries. Oh, yeah! Well, you get it. Most of these criers are very good. Seven of the world's premier loudmouths. In the Netherlands, England, and Canada! Picked up their hats and bells, and one after another. Read all about it! Bragged about their towns. Christine Lakes. This is their ninth time that we've had a competition and we invited criers. Each crier had two chances to share the news with the crowd, a requirement for the job. They also expect you to know everything about everything else. And one of the most frequently asked questions is, when are you going to sort the parking out? The top prize went to John Webster from Markham, Ontario. He's enjoying the victory, but says there's so much more to their loud ways. And when I walk out here at Tulip Time looking like this, people come up and say, oh, who are you? And we can talk and we interact back and forth and maybe that will help just a little bit with world peace. And together, the carriers of the bell <laughs> saluted John Karsten for 40 years of hooting and hollering. All I say is you just need a big mouth and be able to gab a little bit. May God bless America. In Holland, Noah Fromsen, 13 on your side. Thank you to John and all the town criers.